Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave, uh, and I'm taking some questions today, posted by Tested Patrons, uh, and answering them in this format. And today's question comes from Wayne Lewis. Wayne Lewis wants to know, how have you designed mobility in your shop? What equipment, tools, etc., particularly particularly large ones, uh, are mobile and are commonly moved versus not? Are there difficult tools that you have not made mobile and why? Um, <clears throat> mobility in the shop is actually of paramount importance to me. Um, and that is why almost everything you can see in this shot is on wheels except for the milling machine. Uh, the table saw is on a moving platform because it lives up against that back wall. But when I need to do cuts that are longer than 18 inches, uh, I have to pull it back. Um, and actually, it's created a little bit of a problem on the floor over there. I'm just gonna, hold on. So as you can see, maybe you, it's hard to see over here, but underneath the table saw over here, the, the plywood that gets rolled over every day for the last 10 years is starting to really show its... Um, displeasure with this situation because the the wheels on the table saw roller are uh hard little wheels and just they grind over that plywood they're slowly delaminating the top layer at some point i may need to like cut out the plywood of the floor there and replace it but that day is not today so i am not worrying about that but <clears throat> this is a tiny space my shop as it is hang on my shop as it is, here, we're gonna, we're gonna do this full, here we go. That is one end of the shop. There's the other end of the shop. Yep, this is it. And uh, in addition to that, I have my mold making and uh, mold making and cleaning area, and that's it. 450 square feet uh, is great. It is great. It's small. Um, funnily enough, if you gave me like another 5,000 square feet, oh, I'd use it, but I'd still probably pack my tools this close in, in one area of the shop because I like to work like this. Um, however, because space is at a premium, I mean, the amount of floor space here is relatively tiny yeah uh, because space is at a premium the wheels allow me i joke that my shop is a tile puzzle my whole life is actually a tile puzzle but the shop is a real tile puzzle and i don't mean that in any denigrating way that's actually a feature not a bug I use the tile puzzle that is my shop to be able to reconfigure things so that I can have some more room. That being said, I am, I am committed to this 3,000 pound behemoth here. This 3,000 pound behemoth here. Those just live there. Um, as for my super duper awesome workbench, it also pretty much lives there. I could move it if I had to. And if like I was throwing a party, I might certainly push it back to give more room in here as I have done in the past. But wheels are like, everything I build has wheels, everything. I buy wheels on eBay. I do searches for casters lot and I buy tons of them. Um, it's actually a great way to buy inexpensive casters. Um, anybody who pulls casters off of something and resells them is gonna sell them to you for pennies on the dollar. Yep, you'll love that tip. And like, go look for other colors of wheels. Get red, get green, get yellow. That, that's out there. Um, I think I'm close to the end of my current stash of casters, by which I mean I've got like seven to 10 upstairs in a box. Um, so soon I'm going to be shopping again just to kind of refill the, the, the coffers. Um, but mobility is paramount. Every shop is itself a machine right? A machine is a collection of parts to achieve an end. So in a certain sense, stairs are a machine. 
I know, I know. It's weird to think of it like that, but it, I, I believe that's really true. Uh, and this shop too. In the same way that like my drill press is a collection of individual parts and pieces to do a thing, so is this entire space a collection of parts and processes to do a, a kind of a thing. Um, just a lot wider of a variance of a thing. And thus the wheels allow me to reconfigure this shop the way I need to. So it allows me to actually store stuff really close to the mill when I don't need it, but I can pull those out and I have access to stuff behind the mill. I know I talk about how I don't like moving stuff out of the way to get to stuff, but machine tools and certain processes that I only use every couple of months, that, that's totally fine. Again, first order retrievability is for the mission critical in the shop, not, not for everything. Um, yeah, I think, that's a, I think that's a fair coverage of the kind of mobility that I appreciate. I, just to continue on, I'll show you that all my drill bits and reamers and taps are also in rolling carts. Um, my new parts washer, which I just built a cart for, sits on, on wheels. I mean, I joke that like the display area with all my crap, that's going to take a while to move. But this shop, I feel like I could get this shop out the door in like five hours flat with a few guys. Pretty much. All right. <clears throat> Thank you so much for that fantastic question, Wayne. Uh, and tested patrons, submit your questions uh, and I will continue to answer them. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'd love to know in the comments if you have specific approaches to wheels uh, and the obtainment of wheels, but also the utility of them in your shop. All right. Thanks, guys. Stay safe and I will see you next time.